This will be a guide on how to do elite clues for the scanning portion. Keep in mind, having a meerkat does allow you to see the arrow quicker, but there's a different way, and that is by reading the pulsating circles emitting from the character. In my case, it says the Fremnic Slayer Dungeon, so let's go there. And before we start, keep in mind at the speed of it goes, so it's every game tick. Now let's enter, and you won't see anything too happening, but it does seem to go a little bit faster, and then this is what you will want, right there. You'll know you're within 40 to 50 tiles of the clue if it starts, you see two rings before it disappears completely. So, we know it could be either west or to the east of us. And something pretty good about the this little hidden tip is that the meerkats cannot see that far. So if I go one tile west, I'll go another. Right there, it already goes crazy and I know the location is to the west of us. So I'll just do this one real quick because this was pretty much an easy find as it was already at the entrance. And I'll be going over a couple of the hard, annoying places. As you'll see, this makes it significantly way easier to do. Another easy but difficult one could be north of Nardar in the desert. It helps to have desert aiming at three, so you can teleport to Narda and the ruins of urzer but in my case i only have desert aim at two so i just have to work with going north if you do have the other amulet you can teleport to nardar and it'll be able to cut your running pretty much in half as from just in nardar alone you'll be able to know that none of them are nearby but in my case you just keep running north I mean just north until you start seeing it going a little bit faster. So right there I have two. So that means either I go west and how you see it slow down. That means it's east. So we'll be going east. That means it just cut my trip pretty much in half because I don't have to go up all the way to the desert. So. Let's go south and see if it bings again. And I think it goes a little bit faster. And it slowed down, so now we know for sure it's north completely. And again, if you have the Desert Amulet 3, you could have already been at the spot by now. It's just I do not quite have that. And now that there's three dots, I know it's to the east, indicated by the minimap. This time I got the Piscator's hunting area. So again, make your way any means necessary. And from here, we'll go east, east again, and then pay attention to the dot. If it doesn't seem to speed up, continue to go east just a little bit. And there we go. Now we know we're going somewhere in the right direction. So go south. Well, preferably not into rocks. Okay, it's still speeding up, so that means it has to be to the east. And look again, another quick one. Next up will be Xanarus, and I always start from the Slayer Master because I have the 99 Slayer Cape. So from here, since there's only one pulsating thingy, I'm perfectly fine. I don't have to go east or north. So. It should be by the bank since it's technically kind of close to the cosmic altar. And what do you know? There we go again. As you can tell, just pay attention from those orbs. I did not need to go to the cosmic altar whatsoever. So it saves so much time as you can tell. Okay, this time I got a hard one and that'll be Verok and Gurn Exchange. This is the same exact method that I do for Falador. So, well from a Exchange, but I like to 
be at the Verak Square. And again, the same thing works in Falador. You can just be in that castle. And speaking of a castle, that's the method we'll be going first. We'll go to the castle. And if there's no little orbs, well, if there's only one, you're fine. You can just go east, and we'll be going south this time. If you don't see any more, go one more south past the bank. And now that we have two orbs, maybe it's over here to the east. And nope, the orbs slow down. So now we know it's to the west. So that means it's pretty much south of the clothes shop. Oh, okay, there we go. Right there. And again, you can tell how quickly this is. And I am not even using a meerkat scroll or a pouch to enhance the range. Back with another painful one, and that'll be the Fremenic Isles, which include Nay It's Not and Yeah It's So. It doesn't matter which one you go to. So for here, pay attention, and it's just one little ring, so we can just go north and skip everything completely. There is another method you could go, and that would be going to Nay It's Not, and then Yeah It's So and Travel and see which one has two. Very rarely, it's by the bank on either one. So, let's just continue going north into the painful snowy area. Now let's just go north all the way. And now, we go east. And pay attention to the little bolts. I mean the little circles around your character. And look, already found it. As you can tell, it's super quick to do this. The Taverly Dungeon. And then from here, immediately from the staircase, if it's not pulsating, that means it's not by the blue dragons, south by the baby dragons, black demons, or to the hellhounds to the west. So we already know we can go through the obstacle pipe and make our way west, or like what I just did, north, and it's two pulsatings. That means it's usually by the very, very north of the hellhounds, or as you just saw, it's right by the ghost to the east. And again, if you this one is by far my favorite scan, and that will be the Brim Haven. Straight from the entrance, run west. And keep in mind, if you do have the Cringer Gloves 4, you'll be able to do a very nice shortcut. If not, when you use uh, Surge and nothing happens, and again, if you do have the gloves, just immediately jump down the hole. And you'll be right by the red dragons. In which case, you can just skip this whole thing I'm going to do right now. And that will be running north. Past the moss giants. And then doing this obstacle course. And of course, if you have the 99 dungeon cape, it also allows you access to skipping this. But, I don't have that because... I'm still a newbie. So let's go to the red dragons. Okay, now we're getting close. And I'll just go to the bronze dragons for now and boop. I already have two little indicators. That means I'm within 40 tiles. So chop this second vine and there we go. It's already there. The last and final spot I will be going over is Ardoin. Keep in mind that there is so many locations like Griftinius, mostly Harmless, and Darkmire. However, I do not have access to either of the spots. So hopefully with this video, it has helped you to kind of be able to tell to read the little orbs on the floor so you can quickly start doing your elite clues with that. Thank you all so much for watching this and enjoy the rest of your day.